Although I love to go out and check out the restaurants and the various cuisines that are on offer, sometimes I like to crash out at my friend's house whenever I'm in India. And it's because they serve the most delicious suppers. And today we're having an Irish stew, which I think is great British cooking at its best. And I'm with Bill, Abba and Ma, pouring out some lovely hearty stew. Just getting it all served up, like you would in bowls. <laughs> Yes, please, potatoes for me. <laughs> do you try and keep the dishes as British as possible? I do, but actually it's far more fun if you add a little bit of spice. If you try this, you'll find okay. cinnamony, yeah. a little cinnamon, okay. and a uh, bay leaf, or what we call tej patta. Tej patta yeah. It makes a whole lot of difference. Can Much better it? than yeah. pasta. I can taste it, actually. Can you? Yeah. Phil, do you like it all spiced up? I like it slightly spiced, um, not as much as Abba does. Yeah. It's a compromise, but um, I like to taste every vegetable. Yeah. Um, uh, traditionally, you're supposed to be able to taste the potato and the carrot and, and separately. And, and not, it mustn't be just a blancmange of, of melange yes. of things. It was poor man's food, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thanks. That's why I'm having it today, am I? <laughs> but most good food is, like in Indian food, most good food is uh, started off with poor people. Yeah. And poor people didn't eat meat in the, in the old days. And, and they, they boiled the, most of the food, at least as part of the thing, because the water was so bad. Nice. The rich people drank beer all the time. Nice. Only the eighth drank beer for breakfast, dinner, lunch, everything. So you'd call this a hearty stew, wouldn't you? It's a hearty, it's home cooking, sort of comfort eating, isn't it? Yeah. In a way. Yeah. Lentils, tomatoes, beans, carrots, potatoes, cauliflower. And if you make it in winter, it's even better. So yeah. Throw in broccoli and mushrooms and all the vegetables you normally get in the summer. So do you try and keep it as seasonal as possible then? As far as possible. Because that's the great part of living in the country, living in India. You know, you get seasonal vegetables that are ripe and fresh and juicy and then you don't have to go in for all this frozen rubbish that you have in the UK. Thank you very much. That's why you're here in India. But seriously though, the vegetables are really crunchy. I can taste them. They're really nice and crisp. So they're not out of a packet or frozen or anything like that. And they taste different. Yes, they do. And aren't they full of flavour? Yeah. You must try the potato cakes, huh? make them specially for you. Ooh, and I've got to try them. Fresh, crisp veggies. Oh, lovely. Just get one of these. Yeah. Tell me what you think. Yeah. They look lovely. Because it's without egg, huh? Ah. Oh. Otherwise, Ma wouldn't be able to. No. So this is pure vegetarian. Pure vegetarian. British food. The humble mashed potato. <laughs> Turned slightly them. got chili in it too. Yes. A dash of this, a dash of that. <laughs> but there's still more. Just keep digging. Yeah, all right. <laughs> there's a surprise in there. <laughs> these steamed vegetables look scrummy. Mm. I'm going to try a few of these. Some broccoli and carrots. And they're all whole, practically. You haven't chopped them up into tiny bits. I like that. These. You can see that crunchy as well. Yeah. 